Brian, you are schizophrenic. What? Your brain isn't working correctly. This man you are seeing is not real. He is a hallucination. Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm pretty sure he does know what he's talking about. He is a doctor after all. He probably got his degree online. Well, if not, and I'm just imagining you, then that means you're a stalker. And if you are a real person, then get up and leave me alone. Come on, S stop it. I don't smell like that. Hey, if you had no pants and a quarter ounce of string cheese. Brian, Brian. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I forget he isn't real. <laughs> I'm sure it must be tough. So, is there any way I can make him go away? No. I'm sorry. There is no easy cure. You must try your best not to talk to him, because talking to him just validates his existence. And you can't, you can't do that. He may still be present in your life. No one knows. If you choose to ignore him, you still have hope of living a normal life. So you're just going to ignore me. Really? You're not even going to answer me. You are going to have to acknowledge me at some point. doodling on your paper, and what is that, a dog or a cockroach? Your artistic talents are like that of a chimpanzee. Do you even know these answers? You have to know this material if you want to succeed. Tell me, who's considered to be the father of modern broadcasting? Ah, uh, see, you don't even know that. You clearly were not paying attention. Look at you, tapping away on your handheld device. You're wasting your life away, that's what you're doing. Your life is so encapsulated in pixels and binary that you are becoming completely detached from reality. This is why you will never amount to anything, why you will never do anything worthwhile, because you are a loser. You are nothing more than a stupid, pathetic loser. So let's assign 
groups now. Johnny, Jerry, and Ralph, you're group one. Crystal, Kyle, and Jasmine, you're group two. Paco, Peter, and Anna, you're gonna be group three. And group four, let's have Caitlin, Charlie, and I am so, so sorry. What is your name again? I thought his name was Brent. His name is Barry, duh. Well, I'm Joe Grease. And he's obviously a Brendan. I'm, I'm Brian. My name's Brian, guys. I... Wow, nobody knows your name. Are you really that unsociable? Shut up, Joaquin. What did I tell you about talking to me in school? I look weird talking to myself. One, you already look weird. Two, you are not talking to yourself. You're talking to me. Same difference. Okay, and somebody knows my name. Alice over there, she knows who I am. Why won't you talk to me? Why won't you speak? Well, she obviously doesn't care about you that much, seeing as she's loving everyone butcher your name. Doesn't seem like much of a friend to me. She seems more like a stuck up butcher, if you ask me. Hey, you take that back. She's an angel and a goddess on earth. We've known each other since we were little, and I swear she'd be my girlfriend if she wasn't dating that jerk Joe Grease. Joe Grease? You the beast. So now let's move on to our in-class presentations. And since Brandon here seems to have quite a lot to say, we'll let him go first. Brian. My name's Brian. So, uh, my, uh, presentation is about pickles. Garrigan in, in the United Kingdom, or a Gergen. Brian, I'm just curious. How do you expect us to listen to you when you have the vocal quality of a choking hyena with a throat tune? Hey, let me talk. And tell you that the cucumber is pickled in a brine vinegar or other solution left to ferment for a long uh, period of time. Ugh, I can't stand this. Let me show you how it's done. Oh, King, what are you doing? You have to stand up straight, keep your head up. Look at everybody while you're talking. What is this phone up here? You don't need that. Waki, get off me. Don't know. It looks to me like he's having muscles past himself. Bradley, is, is everything okay? Yeah, everything is fine. <laughs> Take this, walking. Everything is great. There are uh, different types of pickles, including the um, Kerrigan. I still don't know how to pronounce that. Shut up, Joaquin. No, by all means, continue your fiasco of a presentation. I didn't make this fiasco. You did. Okay, Bryson, I think we've all had quite enough now. Yes, Brian, we've all had enough of your insolence. Shut up, Joaquin! Shut up, Joaquin! Shut up, Joaquin! Brayden, um, 
I, I think we maybe should get you to the nurse. I think you need some help. Well, I'm Joe Grease. And I think Bennett's going crazy. My name is Brian! Oh. oh! I knew that. And I think you're an idiot! And Alice deserves better than you. What? Who's Alice? I don't know an Alice. We must have broken up months ago. Looks like someone couldn't handle Joe Grease. What? You see, the extreme aura that emits from Joe Grease's presence can understandably be too intense for weaker beings. No, not, not that. You mean Alice is single? She's been single, bro. Some chicks just can't take the grease. This guy, alright? Alice is single. Thank God. Let's get out of here. Alice is single. Hey, I need to talk to you. You're walking across the single. Jill Grease. Look, I'll never be able to ask Alice out if you keep messing around with my head like that. You'll never be able to ask Alice out regardless of what I do. I mean, just look at you. Hey, I still have a shot at this, right? The only game in which you successfully have a shot is Russian roulette. Besides, have you even looked in the mirror lately? Your hair is greasy, you're way out of shape, you dress like a hobo, and there is dandruff all over your shirt. Hey, I look just fine. It, it's not dandruff, it's just, it's little white specks. <laughs> I don't know how it got there. Oh, wait, wait, say that again. It's just dandruff. No, no, the other thing. I look fine. I cannot believe you are being serious right now. You need to clean up. Either that or you're using motor grease instead of cologne. There's this remarkable new cleaning apparatus that they have now. It's called a shower. You should really try it. Hey, I shower. With what? Pond scum? Besides, it's not just your looks or your smell or the little bit of pepperoni you've got I, stuck between your teeth, which are equally disgusting in their own right. Your entire personality is just downright unattractive. No way. What's wrong with my personality? No girl wants to date someone who can hardly say hi to them. But I can walk No girl is going to fall for someone that the only woman with which they can successfully carry on a conversation with is Siri. I have an android. You need to be bolder. More confident. Self-confidence is the most important thing in situations like these. If you don't like yourself, why should she? Well... You know... You seem to know a lot about these kind of things. Well, I suppose. I am a man with a wide depth of knowledge and a variety of fields. Well, do you think you could maybe help me out a little bit? You know, clean up, look good, act attractive, all that? I don't know. Seems like a lot of effort. I might say yes, but you're probably a lost cause. Please, look, there's a party coming up and Alice is gonna be there and, well, do you think you can have me all fixed up by then? What's in it for me? Oh, come on. It's not like you have anything else better to do. Not true. Oh, I'm sure you must be very busy sitting all by yourself alone in the corner. I mean, if you wanna keep pestering me all day, then fine. But at least this will give you something to do. You think that's all I do? I know that's all you do. I'm literally with you every second of the day. I mean, I would like to get rid of you, but I can't. So, we might as well do something together for a change. Well, ah. Uh, fine. I'll help you with your stupid little crush problems. Awesome. Thanks, Joaquin. Really, thanks. Just know that I'm not doing this because I care for you or anything mushy like that. I just can't stand being around anyone as disgusting and unkempt as you. Gee, thanks. Really appreciate the sentiment. This is gonna be fun. Okay, Brian, let's get started. If you do everything right, you should have no trouble approaching Alice. So let's start with something easy. Brian, pretend I am Alice. Well, you're not Alice. I know I'm not Alice, but pretend I'm Alice. But you're not. I know I'm not, but pretend. Pretend I'm Alice now. Approach me. Okay. 
Uh, hi, Alice. No, not like that. Not like what? Like what you just did? Don't do that. What do you want? Woo me, Brian. Make me feel loved. I do not love you, Joaquin. I'm not Joaquin. I'm Alice. In this scenario, I'm Alice. Now, do you love me? I love Alice. I am Alice. Alice is me. Do you understand that? Good. Now, do it again, but this time understanding that I am Alice, the girl you love, and you are reproaching me now. Go. Okay. Hello, Alice. That was wrong. That was all wrong. What am I supposed to do? Say it with passion. Make me believe you care. Hello, Alice. You're confusing volume for passion. I don't really know what you mean by passion. Say it with vigor. With conviction. Express your innermost desires for this woman in just a simple greeting. I'm just saying hello, right? There's not really much I can do with that. No, Brian, no. Do not take these few seconds for granted. Out of the 36,813,600 minutes of an average lifespan, you've been granted these few precious seconds to speak with the most marvelous person on the planet. No one knows how long this will last, or if you will ever get this chance again, so do not take this for granted. You have to let her know that she is an angel on Earth, that she is pure beauty manifested into a living form. You want to embrace her like a castaway wants dry land to hold her in your arms for infinite eternities. The sweetest candy now seems bitter after tasting her lips. The Mona Lisa looks like a stick figure in comparison to her complexion. Being away from her feels like a rusty nail being twisted in your gut. You want her to know that her face is what you would want to see if you had but one more second of sight. So knowing that, and as you greet her, try to tell her that. Uh, hello, Alice. Oh my god, this is hopeless. You need to be romantic, not robotic. Well, we need to figure out something before the party tonight. Wait, that's tonight? Yeah. Well, you never told me that from the way you were talking. I thought the party was in a few weeks. A few weeks? No, it's tonight. You need to have me all fixed up by tonight. Well, then forget this. We can come back to this letter. You have to get dressed. We have to do something about this. What do you mean, this? Hey, how do I look? Repulsive, as usual. But don't fret. I can fix you up. Gee, thanks. Great self-esteem boost. Brian, concentrate. We need to do something about your ghastly appearance. What's wrong with my appearance? You look disgusting. Your hair is untidy. Your body is filthy. Your breath smells like cheese pizza and... How long have you been wearing that shirt? I... I don't remember. It's been a long time. That is not a good sign. Here, take it off immediately and wear this. No. This is way too formal. I'm going to a party, not a funeral. If you go wearing this stinky shirt, then someone will die. Oh, come on, Joaquin. I don't want to look like a dork. Nonsense. You need to show everyone that you can look handsome. Because you normally don't. Well, if you think I'm going out looking like that, you're dead wrong. I have my own look to maintain. <laughs> Wait, your wrinkled green shirt and your baggy jeans are your look? Hey. It's a look. Yes, I'm a homeless man. Well, whatever we do, I hope we can do it in under five minutes. Under five minutes? Yeah. The party's at seven, and it's 6.55 now. Wait, you mean to tell me the party starts in five minutes? Yeah. Robert Isaac Thero, didn't you tell me this? Well, I don't know. I figured we'd be ready by now. God, you are unbelievable. You have to get dressed. We have to go. But Joaquin... No buts. <laughs> buts. We have to get moving. We're not going completely unprepared. It's a joke, but...
Well, we are completely unprepared, but nevertheless, we are here. Cool. Uh, well, I'm going to the snack table. No, don't go to the snack table. Everybody knows that's where the losers of the party congregate. But I always go to the snack table. Case in point. Besides, you have a girl to talk to. I'll get to that. Just let me get some food first. I see Alice, she's right over there. Hey, yo, DJ question mark. I swear I'm a legitimate DJ. All right, all 80 y'all better get super turnt right now. We about to set this place on fire. Well, you would better talk to her soon. I will. I will. I, I see her over there, so let me just hang out for a little while, and then when I feel ready, I'll go talk to her. Ryan, you're never going to feel ready. That's not how this works. Wait, where did you go? Yeah, I was in the balls. They're completely on the ground. Oh my gosh, what was that? That was Alice. Now we'll talk to her. I can't do this. I'm hyperventilating. I will pull yourself together. You have to sneeze into the box. Now you can't talk to Alice. So go talk to Alice. It seemed easier in my head. Everything in my head seems easy. Except for you, Ryan. Go over there. Maybe we should just leave and, and come back and, and try again, give it a second shot or something. Where do you think you're going? You came here to talk to Alice. I did not come all the way down here just for you to get cold feet. My feet aren't cold. They're sweating. My whole body is sweating. Just help me out, Joaquin. Hey, yo, shout out to the guy talking to himself in the back. Go find some friends, bro. What? I've already helped you. I've already given you all the pointers I can. This is something that you have to do yourself. Maybe you can, you know, uh, just stand beside me and, and, and tell me what to say. You know, be like my invisible wingman. I don't think I quite understand what you're asking. Uh, give me pointers and, and, you know, nothing too too big or anything, but like, tell me exactly, uh, work forward and precise detail, exactly what to say. No, it's utter nonsense. It will never work. It's not like anything else we do ever works. Might as well try this. Well, if you're not going to talk to her yourself, then there is no reason for us to be here. In that case, we are leaving the cesspool immediately. I will play the chipmunk version of every Nickelback song in existence until you walk out that door and let me leave. Just help me talk to Alice and then we can leave. That's all we have left to do and... Fine, I'll do it. But this is sick. Yeah, dude. I knew you could do it. That is not what I meant. Let's get this out. Right, you actually have to walk over there. Oh yeah. Right. DJ question mark. I'm Shay Walk and I was born and bred in Africa. Alice! Hey! Totally didn't see you standing there, you know, just like you're doing. Uh, what's up? Uh, hey Brian. How are you? What can you tell me what to say? Ask her how her day was. How was your day, Alice? Good, pretty good. How about yours? Uh, my day uh, was as pleasant as well. It was pleasant as well. Gosh, that did not sound right. So, how's school going for you? Uh, it is going very well, thank you. It is going very well, thank you. And how about yourself? And how about yourself? It's going okay. I am pleased to hear that. Oh gosh, I said, I said that wrong. Hey Brian, stop acting like every little thing you do matters. Well, one of us has mass and takes up space, so it looks like I'm the only one here that matters. Excuse me? So... 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 Uh, Joaquin, tell me what to say. Now, after that little comment, you can figure it out yourself. Because apparently you are far superior to a mere hallucination. Joaquin, I'm serious. Help me out here. Okay, fine. So, Alice, how are you? So, Alice, how are your octopi? Wait, what? 
Joaquin! I don't happen to have any octopi. No, I'm sorry. I, I didn't. What I meant to say is, how are your thyroids? No, dang it. I didn't mean to roast my kittens. No, crap. Uh, what? No, what I meant to say is, are your feet going to stink or mate, mate with my mate. antelope? Crap. Joaquin, <laughs> cut it out. You are embarrassingly easy to sabotage. Hello, Brian. You there? What did you say? Uh, I hopping out of here. <laughs> well, I'm uh, I'm hopping out of here. <laughs> Is everything okay, Brian? Uh, I I just. I we gonna slow it down uh, for a minute. This one is for all the ladies. I uh, I don't, I don't, um, I don't know. It's been a while. I haven't really kept in touch with you. Well, we were like. Best friends when we were little. So how, how have you been since middle school? I mean, fill me in. I, I want to know every detail. Well, I've been looking in. Every detail. <laughs> well, I've been looking into colleges lately. I'm thinking about going into nursing, so I've been looking into that. What? No way! <laughs> What's funny about that? It's just... When we were little, and we used to play together, you always wanted to be the doctor. It's funny you remember that. I mean, it didn't matter like what game we were playing, you always wanted to be the doctor. I mean, we could be playing cops and robbers, and you still wanted to be the doctor. Well, if they needed a doctor, <laughs> what if someone got shot? That's the point of cops and robbers. <laughs> you still don't get it. <laughs> you know, uh, maybe you could, uh, Stay around here for a little while. I mean, I know there's not much to do, but at least I'll be here. Yeah, it would be great. That would be great. I'll be here. It would be great. Yeah. Great. That's why I hurt. So, uh, anyway, uh, Alice, I, um, I, I wanted, uh, would you like to. Yo, what's up, my peeps? Joe Grease in the house. Oh my gosh, it's Joe Grease. Oh, hey yo, what's up? I'm Joe Grease, and I'm on fleek tonight. What's cracking, my homie? Hey Malik, when are we gonna hang? Let's do that sometime. Trill, man, trill. Mmm, girl, I see you over there. You gotta let me get that number later. Mm-hmm. Hey, what do we got over the snack table? Oh my gosh. I swear, this head is as bloated as a beluga whale. Looks like one, dude. This guy, am I right? A who, Joe? Yeah, he sure is something else. Oh, I forgot. You, you dated Joe Grease. That really cool guy that just walked in. The cool guy that you dated that's a lot cooler than me, who looks a lot cooler than me, and is a, and is a lot cooler than me. That guy, that guy that just walked in, the really cool guy. The one you dated. Yo, Joe Grease. Who are we talking about? Uh, uh, not you. Totally not you. <laughs> oh, Bryant. Classic Bryant. What's cracking, broski? Well, besides your head, I mean. <laughs> Actually, I was talking to Alice, so I'd appreciate it if we could get back to our talking. <sighs> Joe Grease made that joke. You get it? It's funny because you acted like a retard in school the other day. Remember that? Retarded. Classic, Bryant. Classic. Gosh, retarded, really? You might be slow, dumb, dim-witted, schizophrenic, and stupid. But that does not make you retarded. Hey, Joe. I would really appreciate it if we could get back to our talking. Look, Barney. My name's Brian. Barney. Nobody tells Joe Grease where he can and can't go, or when he can and can't go there, or who he can and can't be with, or what kitchen appliances he can and can't stick his tongue into. So if Joe Grease wants to stay right here and be on fleek in this exact spot, then that's what Joe Grease is gonna do. But what's wrong? He can't take the grease? Joe Grease, that is. Well, I have had enough of this. Brian will repeat after me. What? Just do it. Joe Grease, simply put, you are an abomination. Your suave exterior is simply a disguise for the vast empty pit that is your soul. What you have in attractiveness, you more than doubly lack in character, 
intelligence and common human decency. Your mother is probably ashamed to have a son with the social grace of a mentally challenged orangutan and the, and the dignity of a naked man with a touch of cheese. You ought to know how much of a disappointment to society you really are. Oh, come on, man. Joe Grease is better than that. And above all else, your hair looks bad. Oh, okay. Savage. Well then, you know what? I'm gonna put my shades on. Not because my eyes are watering or anything, but because the dark lenses help to increase the aura of mystery and chilling coolness that Joe Grease is all about. I think I'm gonna go over there. Not because I feel pressured in any way to do so, but because I feel like chilling with my homies and hitting on some hot chicks. So I'm leaving. Joe Green. Well, Brian, you really let him have it. Well, what can I say? I guess I'm just gifted with words. Well, it was great getting to talk to you and all, but I really should be heading out. Wait. I, uh, I was wondering if maybe you would what if, uh, if, if we could, if maybe you, if you go on a date and want to be with, huh. I said it, oh my gosh, I, I can't believe I just said it, what's gonna happen now? Oh, you want to go on a date with me? I appreciate the offer, but I really have to be getting out of here. Wait, Alice, come back. What, Brian? Look, Alice, I, I've got something I need to say to you. I, uh, I'm not here by myself. I don't mean I'm, I'm with you. I mean, like, there's, uh, there, there's somebody else here with me. Uh, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is, um, I, uh, I'm schizophrenic. I, I, I have this imaginary person inside my head. And he's here right now. Actually, he's staring into my soul. Um, but if I've been acting unusual tonight, that's, that's why. And I, I promise I'm not a creep. But I'm just... I've been going through a lot right now, and I would love to spend some time with you. I, I think you're the best. You're like the most beautiful, pretty girl I've ever seen. And I, I would just love to spend some time with you. So what do you say? So you just found out about the schizophrenia? Yeah, a few weeks ago about walking that's his name, Joaquin. So what you're saying is you already know you're schizophrenic? Yeah. Well, I also have something I need to tell you. Brian, I don't know how to break this to you, but I'm not exactly real either. What? So you're a hallucination too? Yes, I am. I've been around for a while. Longer than you, Akeen. I try to keep my distance to make you feel more normal, but yes, I'm only in your head. What? Can you say something besides what? What? I'm, I'm sorry. Say what? Look, Brian, I didn't want you to find out this way. I really find out at all. I just wanted you to have a normal life. That's it. What if we were good friends when we were little? We spent every day together. Yes, I know, and I liked it a lot. I was little too, and I just wanted a friend and you were there. But as I got older, I realized that we couldn't be together. It wasn't good for you. You mean all those times we spent together? I was just in my head? I'm sorry, Brian. I really liked being around you, but as you got older, I realized I couldn't anymore for your sake. So I slowly started to back off without completely leaving you. You were dating Joe Grease, right? Could he see you? I just acted like I was his girlfriend. He couldn't see me. I hated it, but Joe Grease was the only person I could do that with. He dated so many girls that he can't remember their names. So you had to date someone who looks cooler and acts cooler and 
dress is cooler than me. I'm sorry, Brian, but I was doing this for your own good. It didn't work. I didn't forget about you, Alice. I think about you every day. I've had a huge crush on you. I'm sorry. Brian, but that's not good. What do you mean? I'm not good for you. You need someone real. Being in love with your own imagination, well, that's just sad. You know what? Fine. Fine. I... I... I just... I need a moment. I'll see you guys. Brian, wait. Brian, look at me. Brian, eyes on me. I can't stand being this way. Gosh, every time I try to do something, it just blows up in my face. Brian, stop talking like that. What? You saw it yourself. I suck at life. I suck at relationships. I suck at everything. Nobody likes me. I can't connect with anyone. And the one person I love turns out to be fake. Oh, stop acting like you loved her. You hadn't talked to Alice in years, so stop sobbing over this Alice person and pay attention to the people right next to you. To the people that really know you. I don't know who I know anymore. I mean, and, and what if I'm imagining all this? And don't act like you're any more real than Alice. You're imaginary too. I am most certainly more real than Alice. Alice left you a long time ago. You just fell in love with a fantasy of Alice, but me, I'm authentic. But you're not real. You're just part of my disease. It needs someone real. Is that what you think of me? A sickness? A disease? I thought we'd move past that. I thought you finally saw me for what I am, a complex being with thoughts and emotions, but no. I'm just a hallucination, a mutated brain cell? As if I'd ask to be in your head. But you are all in my head. God, you're missing the point. You keep reminding me that I'm fake, that I'm imaginary. Do you ever think how that makes me feel? I am more intelligent than most of the corpses that walk this earth. Yet I'm confined to the mind of a 17-year-old kid. I just want to be free. I just want to live. I want to... Nothing extravagant, just... Touch someone. Share a meal with someone. Make friends. Find someone I love. I just want to wave hi to somebody in the street and have them wave back, but I can't. You think I'm living? I'm not, okay? It's like I'm, I'm stuck in a dream world or a nightmare and I'm losing my grip on reality and, you know, maybe I just want to escape to shut up, Brian. <laughs> you are real. You're in a special place right now. You're a living, breathing human being. You have thoughts, dreams, aspirations, but what separates you from me is that you can actually achieve them. The entire world is out there for you to grasp hold of, but you won't reach out and take it. Do you know how badly I want that? So don't give me any more crap about how much your life sucks, because you have the power to change it. I don't. So even if it's only out of respect for me, don't waste your life. I know what it's worth and it's far too valuable for you to just throw away. Well. 
I didn't know you felt that way. It's not like you ever asked. I... I don't know what to say. I... I can't... I just... You know... Sometimes you don't have to say anything. Just let it sink in. Turn this mic on? Uh, I thought you knew. No, I don't. Man. Um, we, don't, we don't really know what we're doing, do we? Huh. Don't know what we're doing? Don't know what we're doing, but we do it best. We do it best. We do it best. Don't know what we're doing? Don't know what we're doing, but we do it best. We do it best. We do it best. Hey, don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing. Don't know what we doing, don't know what we doing, but we finna going. Don't know what we doing, but top of the toss number one we are shooing. Forgetting my rhymes, should've written them down, that'll save me some time. But we'll be just fine. We the top of the line. They scheming, they scheming, ah. We winning, we winning, ah. The game we perfecting, ah. Jay walking the walk, man, we ah. They thought we was fools, thought this was a game. Now they all done hopped on the bandwagon train. They calling us crazy, think this is insane, but it's cool. We'll keep slaying. Don't know what we doing. Don't know what we're doing, but we do it best. We do it best. We do it best. Don't know what we're doing. Don't know what we're doing, but we do it best. We do it best. We do it best. Hey, don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing, but we do it best. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing, but we do it best. Going me and like my first name is Holiday. I might need a vacay at the top of the charts of the rapper Salte. Good girls think I'm cute, but check the light. DJ question mark is just a joke, I swear. Probably, maybe. I'm the best. Our Dizzle rocks. Lip fam. Turn. Ain't no argument. I wish I was our Dizzle. Bruh, this movie's gonna blow your imagination. Like, I dreamed of being a DJ, man. That ain't my imagination. I've always been the best. DJ question mark.